That's Fiddle and Lindsay McCall. Yeah. 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 That's Banjo and Aaron Jonah Lewis. Thanks, Lindsay. Yeah. 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 Y
a little, a tune is written in and a little writing down there. I think it's because it's, um, because it's extra special. Okay, do you guys like double banjo tunes? Yeah. yeah. Okay. We, we might change your mind. Uh, we're going to do another jug band song for you now, and it's quite a racket. <clears throat> Um, comes from the Dixieland Jug Blowers, and it's called Banjarino. polka that we just added to the, to the set list because uh, we, we heard that some people were pretty into that. So this is called the resting on, which is the upturned nose.
song I ever sing. Summer, winter, autumn, and spring. We're there more than 24 hours a day. They'd be spending sweet content dreaming away. The skies are gray, the skies are blue. Morning, noon, and night time too. All I do the whole day through is dream of you. Thank you. Uh, that, that's a tune I got from W. Leo Daniel and his Hillbilly Boys. It's an old pop song. It's quite popular. It's called All I Do Is Dream Of You. Now we're going to do a genuine old time number from the Carlisle Brothers. This next one is in Spanish, 
So I'll give a quick translation. It's, it's sort of funny. It's sort of a call and response. So the, the man says to the woman, Hey there, pretty lady. I'm new in town. Can I talk to you for a minute? I just want to talk to you. Is there some place we can go and talk? And she says back to him, No, sir, no, sir. We cannot talk. There's no way. You see, I am married. But come back tomorrow. <laughs> Andale, vamos! One, two, three. Dust them all. Yeah. All right. So the lyrics to this song are more or less nonsense, but my theory is that this guy finds a girl at a party by herself crying about something, and he sings this song to her to try and get her to kiss him. It's called There's a Rainbow in Every Teardrop. One, two, three, one, two.
Thank you. That that kind of uh, takes us out of the range of pre bluegrass era because it's from the fifties. <clears throat> uh, we're all, we're gonna do another song that some people might not include in the realm of old time string band music because it's not from the country. It's urban music. It's jug band music uh, from the Mississippi Sheiks. We're gonna play for you now a tune called "That's It." <clears throat> Okay, people get ready. Yeah. You know, sort of uh, climbing the, the mountain to the climax. Uh, this is going to be our second to last song we're going to play for you tonight. I want to say thank you all so much for coming out and supporting live music in this venue that's always got great music. And I uh, say a big thanks to Kay for doing the sound. We're, we're going to play a song that comes from a lot of different sources. It's very popular in different places. It's the fight song for a university. Louis Armstrong did it. That's where Lin Lindsay got it from. I got it from Kenny Baker, the bluegrass fiddle player. And uh, we have a fancy new arrangement for it that we just tried out last night for the first time with, with a huge success. So we're going to keep at it. Um, the first time we played this together, we were busking on the street in New Orleans, and we had to kind of agree on which version to play, because she knew the swing version, I knew the bluegrass version, and we figured out that we could just do both versions at the same time. So that's what we're going to do for you now. I know it is Washington County, she knows it is Washington and Lee Swing, so we play Washington and Lee County Swing. We're going to do another one that comes from Mexico. 
and I'll, I'll give you a translation of this one as well. Trust me, if the words were boring or stupid, I wouldn't bother translating them. But these words are really funny. I should also mention that the song we're going to do, In El Rancho Grande, is very popular in Mexico. It's like Freebird. It's like everyone <laughs> sings this, everyone has to know this song. And it's all about underwear. <laughs> so it's a bragging song. This is a style of song that they have. And the guy is bragging about how he used to work and live at the Rancho Grande, the big house, the big ranch. And the boss's wife liked him so much that she offered to make him a pair of calzones, which is underwear. And she said, I'm going to make you a pair of underwear like the, like the big ranchers use. That means wool on the inside and leather on the outside. That's, that sounds pretty hot to me, depending what you're into. Um, so just so you know, that's what the song is about, underwear, calzones. In El Rancho Grande.
be very glad to play one more for you because you've been such a lovely audience. We're bird. We're really happy to be here. This one does involve birds. It does. It's going to involve birds, right? Are there any ornithologists in the house tonight? Okay, that's good. <laughs> um, right, so this is a... <laughs> This is a really fancy tune that I was afraid to play for many years, and somehow these guys made me feel uh, like like I could do it. Um, it's just it's just so outrageously silly and fancy and show offy that I couldn't bring myself to do it for a long time. Um, but it's a lot of fun. It's a really old tune. It's been popular for many many years. It was Abraham Lincoln's favorite tune, from what I heard. And it was also the theme song for the Three Stooges. Um, it's called Listen to the Mockingbird.
Mm-hmm.